Hello, my name is Luis Carrillo, and today I'm going to share with you some insight on our operating systems of our most popular smartphones today. Now, you may have heard from family and friends on how this phone is better than that phone, but what I want to give you today is a little bit more information so you can make your own decision as to what phone works best for you. The operating systems we're going to cover today are the iPhone iOS from this iPhone 5S, the Android operating system on this Samsung Galaxy S4, and the Windows Phone platform on this Nokia Lumia 900. Now, as you can see, they're all touch screen with squarish icons, and that is very helpful because you can see exactly where your information is on the screen and how quickly you can get to it. Now, the iPhone here has the most simplistic of the features where these icons are pretty much static. So they just kind of sit there and they wait for you to push the button to access the information, which works for some people. The Android operating system not only has these apps that are static, but it also has live widgets, which means that they update periodically on their own and you can set the timer on how often they're going to update. It's up to you. You can set it for an hour, two hours, 15 minutes, whatever the case may be. But you'll have the peace of mind knowing that this phone is working for you in the background so you don't have to keep up, keep refreshing the screen in order to get that information. Now, the Windows phone has what we call tiles and also live tiles. So there are static ones and then there's these interactive ones that you see a little bit of movement here and there letting you know that they're also working in the background for you. But of the three platforms, the Android one does the most for you because it has the same system for the static icons, the static applications, as well as the live, top live applications, live widgets, so to speak, which update for you whenever you want them to, and they're ready for you whenever you need them there. So we have some similarities where they all have the square tiles and they're all touch screen. But we also have some key differences, which we just touched on briefly here. I also want to touch on some of the other different features that are available on these phones. The application stores, which all of them have, so you can purchase games and applications for fitness, entertainment, whatever the case may be. So the iPhone, iOS, and the Android systems both have quite a robust uh, portfolio so, meaning if you want all the latest and greatest, that's the way to go. Now, if that's not so much important to you, but you do need your most popular apps, the Windows phone can do that for you as well. Now, if you have to have cutting edge, meaning you want to have the greatest, the latest and greatest apps first, iPhone is the way to go because most developers are building their software specifically geared for that phone first, being the most popular phone out there right now. But the Android operating system allows you to have a very wide selection of free applications. Now, the Windows phone doesn't have quite as many, but they do have a feature that's called try before you buy. So if there's a really popular app that you want to get that does cost you money, but you're not sure if you want to make that investment, you can always try before you buy. Many of the applications on the Windows phone will allow you to do that. Okay. Now, as far as the memory storage capacity, the iPhone and the Nokia on the Windows platform have what we call internal memory and internal memory only. So whatever, whenever you fill up the memory of those phones, you cannot put any more in there. You have to delete things before you want, before you can put more things back in. Whereas the Samsung has both internal and external memory. So the Samsung has a little chip called a micro SD, which allows you to store even more things once the phone's capacity is full. So if capacity is your thing, if you want to store a lot of things, but not keep them on the phone, you want to take them on the go on the little micro SD card and swap them out from phone to phone, that may be the deal for you. Okay, so we did talk about how the iPhone has the most popular apps first. If that's your thing, you could go that route. Okay, now, as far as the price range of the phones, the no, the Nokia is on the lower end on a two-year service agreement with through AT&T. It's only going to be about $100 plus tax, whereas the Samsung and the iPhone are, are about $200, $199.99 plus tax. 
Uh, so that's very beneficial if that's the way you want to go. So if you're a little bit more budget conscious, you may want to go with a Nokia. If price is not an, uh, an object, you would want to decide on which features are best for you. Okay. So that's just a quick overview of how the phones work. I have printed out some uh, handouts. So they give you more uh, specifications as to what the phones can and cannot do. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview of how that works. But hopefully I've given you some good information that you can use to make your decision on your next smartphone purchase. Thank you for your time. Once again, I'm Luis Carrillo, and I'm glad I was able to give you this information. Thank you.